how to season a new cast iron skillet. First, remove all labels and markings. Otherwise, it's a bit difficult to fry some eggs. Next, make sure to check the bottom of the pan. Use a metal spatula to remove any pesky stormtroopers that may reside. Then, using the best salt and pepper available, season your pan to taste. Make sure to do it liberally, and then you're done. Just kidding. He begins by lining the stove with aluminum foil, and closes it and preheats the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, using a large soft sponge, he uses soap and water to wash his skillet thoroughly. Ensure that no soap resides, otherwise rubber duckies cannot flip. Using a towel, he dries his pan thoroughly, and takes it to the oven. Once placed in the oven, he closes it and sets a timer for 20 minutes. Upon his return, he moves it with a towel and preheats the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. For the next part, he can use flaxseed oil, vegetable shortening such as Crisco, lard 5W20 or full synthetic. However, he will be using vegetable oil. Adding a tablespoon of oil to the pan, he then uses regular paper towels to rub the oil into every nook and cranny. He wants a very thin layer, nothing too grouped on. Make sure to get the handle and the marking. Then, using lint-free paper towels such as these mechanic shop towels, he cleans off all the oil he just rubbed in. You could also use paper towels, but definitely not toilet paper. It's expensive. After he's thoroughly dried the pan and the oil, he goes back into the oven. This time, he places it face down. If any oil drops, it would fall in the aluminum and not pool in the pan. He sets the timer for an hour, and an hour later, returns. He turns off the oven and lets the pan cool inside, because cool pans can handle the heat. After another hour or so, he returns. After a single layer of seasoning, the pan has begun to acquire a nice patina, which is a sign we're on the right path. He repeats the seasoning process of rubbing oil, rub off oil, heat an oven, and cool an oven, and repeats again. After three layers of seasoning, the pan has begun to blacken like his soul. For the fourth layer, he only applies oil to the inside, and struggles to light the stovetop because... who knows. Once the pan begins to smoke, he turns off the heat, does a quick wipe, and sets it aside to cool. Then, it's time for the egg test. He brings the pan back in and preheats it over medium heat. He adds a bit of oil, spreads it around, and then time for the egg. But before we test it, let's answer some commonly asked questions. Boop. First, equip a ventilator, making sure to secure it before securing those of any children. Then, open a window. Third, engage your overhead fan and use a broom towel like the rest of us. Boop. Acquire a phone by any means. Then, dial 9... 1... 1. If your pan is sticky, that means that you need to use less oil or that your oven is not hot enough. Simply wipe off more and raise the heat. Boop. Make sure to preheat your pan before using it. Boop. Ah! Boop. When the skillet is placed into a cold oven, the skillet may experience some level of, well, shrinkage. Boop. He liberally salts the egg and moves on to the blow test. Egg flip. Using a metal spatula, he flips the egg and fails hard. Either way, he plates it. And, using metal tongs, he cleans it. Because... Ants. So, if you believe low carb food should be delicious and want to join the Cast Iron Skillet Squad, subscribe and make sure to watch the other videos where Dennis cooks. It's as if he's trying to light a fire under the eggs. Alas. Until next time, eat well.